Hello and welcome to Daily News Analysis. Welcome to a captivating exploration of India's remarkable journey in the world of defense exports, a story of transformation and ambition. Let's rewind to 2013-14 when India's defense exports were a modest 686 crore Indian rupees. Fast forward to 2023 and the landscape has dramatically changed with a tenfold increase to 15920 crore indian rupees approximately 5 billion united states dollars so what fueled this surge enter the defense production and export promotion strategy of 2020 a visionary framework setting clear export targets the goal achieving 5 billion united states dollars in defense export revenue by 2025 a commitment to sustainable growth but that's not all India's indigenization lists and procurement policies have paved the way for domestic manufacturers, with 75% of the defense capital procurement budget reserved for them, bolstering self-reliance and creating opportunities. To eliminate bureaucratic impediments, liberalized licensing and certification norms have been introduced, ensuring a smoother pathway for manufacturers and fostering a conducive environment for export growth. India's Ministry of External Affairs has joined the mission, actively promoting the sale of Indian defense equipment abroad through embassies. Lines of credit to African countries strategically boost defense exports, expanding India's global footprint in the defense industry. Not stopping there, India has established two defense industrial corridors in Uttar Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, creating ecosystems for defense manufacturing and promoting exports with infrastructure, facilities, and incentives. And let's remember the Defense Innovation Organization, established in 2018, supporting startups and innovators, fostering collaboration between the private sector, academia, and the defense industry. But, challenges lurk on the horizon. Converting expressed interest into business action has proven elusive, especially with countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Egypt, South Africa, and Brazil particularly concerning products like the BrahMos and Akash missile systems. Speaking of exports, India has successfully exported BrahMos cruise missiles to the Philippines and is eyeing Vietnam and Indonesia. The Dhruv helicopter, developed by HAL, has reached Nepal, Maldives, Ecuador, and Peru. The Akash missile system by DRDO is on the radar of Vietnam and Oman. Private players are crucial in this narrative. Companies like Tata Advanced Systems and Bharat Forge are investing in R&D for cutting-edge defense technologies. Collaborations with international partners, such as Bharat Forge with AM General for Humvees and Mahindra Defense Systems with Saab for fighter jets, showcase the synergy between Indian and global capabilities. While India remains a formidable force in arms imports, accounting for 11% of global imports from 2018-22, Breaking into the top 20 global arms exporters list remains challenging. The journey toward reducing import dependency is evident, but the next frontier is leadership in global defense exports. Challenges loom on the horizon. Coordination among the Ministry of Defense, Armed Services, Private Manufacturers, and Defense Public Sector undertakings is imperative. Institutional adhocism, competitiveness concerns, and bureaucratic obstacles must be overcome for sustained growth. So, what's the way forward? A dedicated defense infrastructure is crucial, encompassing training, market intelligence systems, and a specialized export promotion council for the defense sector. Trade support, R&D infrastructure, and collaboration opportunities with other nations will play pivotal roles in shaping India's future in defense exports. As we conclude this journey, India's trajectory from arms importer to defense exporter is clear marked by deliberate policies and a whole-of-government approach. The road to becoming a global defense export leader is ahead, and with sustained efforts, India aims to secure a spot among the top 20 global defense exporters. Stay tuned for more updates. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us.